Hi folks, I'm up in the Wisconsin Northwoods on vacation this week. And on this episode of Dr. Dave Divergence, we're gonna see if we can get that boat lift up on the shore. Uh, so stick around. Hi folks, this is Dave. Welcome to the Wisconsin Northwoods. It's beautiful, I'm at the lake, but I've got some work to do. We're gonna see if we can get that boat lift, weighs about 500 pounds, up on the shore using techniques I learned from the channel Smarter Every Day, where Destin showed us how to use snatch blocks. So here's a bunch of equipment we have with. Uh, I've got an old uh, tow chain. I bought a tree saver, so I can uh, use a tree as a part of our apparatus. I've got three snatch blocks and four of these guys uh, D-ring shackles so we can connect things up. We're going to use uh, this uh, tow line. Uh, good for something crazy like 10,000 kilograms or something so it's no problem. And you can see the other end, well maybe you can't see it, but the other end is out there uh, near, the, uh, near the boat lift. So next thing we're going to do is uh, get the boat lift on wheels and get it closer to the shore. And then my plan is, because we lost this tree here, which would have been a perfect one to, to anchor to, to pull that out, but I can't use that. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is use this tree over there and put it way up and put the, the tree saver way up in the crotch of that tree. And the reason why I wanna do that is we've got quite an incline to come up here. So it's not good enough to just pull it straight. We've gotta pull it up. And the reason why we have to pull it up is in the winter time or in the springtime when the ice break is up on this lake, it pushes up against the Eastern shore here and shoves it up. So we've got about a foot, foot and a half to come up here. Then there's sometimes, you know, ruts in here. So this part is high in the middle here. Then there's a dip down here and then it gets really steep up here. So this is where we're gonna we're gonna pull it up here and just you know leave it on right right in this area. So anyway, that's the plan. So here we are back at the dock. Um, here are the wheels. They're plastic wheels. They get they have holes in them. They'll fill with water when you put them in there. But basically, in years past, what we've done is you put these wheels on the corners of the boat lift, and then we would wheel it closer to shore. And then uh, my brother and I would muscle it up that you know, a few feet up onto the shore of that hill. And it basically took, you know, two good sized men to, to do that. And uh, my brother had, had knee surgery. So I said, well, I think I'm a little smarter than I used to be, or at least I want to work smarter rather than harder. So let me see if I can get this done on my own. So I'm gonna hop in the lake, um, problem. I'm out of the water. As you can see, I've got a wheel, a big plastic wheel on each corner here. And that took me way longer than it should have. But what I ended up doing was putting this, um, a concrete block, uh, at, at near, near each corner and then using this pipe, uh, to get leverage underneath the boat lift. And I lift it up and set the corner on top of that, uh, concrete block. And then that was up high enough off the bottom of the lake to put that wheel on and did that at each of the four corners. This corner with the winch is way heavier. So I saved that for last. But now what we're ready to do is I've got a tow chain on there just in the middle of the bottom rail and it's got that loop on there. And what we're gonna do is take our um, our tow line and attach it to that and just uh, now just pull. At first I have to get it closer to the shore because I've only got a hundred foot rope and that's not enough to make the pulley system that's gonna get us extra leverage. That'll only reach out to where the, where the, um, boat lift is now so um anyway so we got our t we got our uh, the, the the rope that i bought here is a winch rope i shouldn't have bought a winch rope because it means it only has a hook at one end and the other end is meant to tie to the winch so i'm going to use something like an axle hitch or some kind of knot to tie the other end uh out there and then i'll be able to put this on the car i guess but anyway we're just going to go up here uh 
to that crotch in the tree and put the pulley up there. And at first, all the pulley is going to do is uh, I'm just going to use one pulley and it's just going to allow me to change the direction of force, right? Instead of me just pulling straight, which I can try, it's not going to give me any mechanical advantage. It's just going to let me change the direction and put go over here and put the car over here uh, if I need the car to pull it. So that's the idea there. And then uh, uh, let's set that up and then get the get so get we'll get the boat lift close to the shore and then we'll rearrange it to build uh, our uh, mechanical advantage pulley system. I decided to put an axle hitch not in it um, onto this uh, tow chain that's uh, that's on the that's on the uh, boat lift. So uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description to how to do this knot. I just learned it from a video. Uh, but it says it's good for towing, and it's uh, got this cool slip so that you can uh, undo it after the fact, even if you towed a lot, put a lot of weight on it. So we're just gonna uh, let that drop, let that drop in. And, all right, so I'm ready to go up that tree and get these pulleys up there. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. So this is the tree saver strap. This is gonna go around one of those limbs and be up in the crotch of the tree. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hang two snatch blocks from it. And so they're going to go like this. I won't be doing this one handed up there, but anyway, so that'll go through there, this in here, and then this through here. We've got the uh, tree saver around that limb, and we've got two snatch blocks hanging from it. Uh, only using one first, because first we have to pull boat lift closer to the shore first, because then I'll have enough rope to do the the pulley system, where we'll put another pulley down on the on the boat lift, and we'll have multiple lines in tension to divide the 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 uh, amount of distance and force and make it easier for us to pull. But we're gonna... Step one, one accomplished. We got the lift near the edge of the water. So, and now we've got a lot of extra, you know, line and we're ready to rearrange it to uh, get a mechanical advantage because it's gonna take a lot of more effort to pull it up over this uh, edge down here. We're down here at the shoreline, um, that axle hitch did just fine. And what we wanna do now is Leave that so the end of the line is essentially attached to the boat lift. Then we come over here and we put a loop of the line through this snatch block. Put this in the D ring. Then we take this line and it goes back up the tree through the the remaining uh, snatch block we left there. We've got the pulley down on this end, so two lines in tension up to there. So this should take half as much energy as would normally. And then we go from there down to the uh, car. All right, right, so this is working. Uh, we got it up on the shore. We got about 10 more feet to go. I'll take it slow and check it out.
so what, what, what it's doing here is it's a little off filter. So what I think I'm going to do is put some slack in the line and pull the chain over to this side. Try to bring it that way. this uh, axle hitch with this kind of a uh, slip knot that we're supposed to be able to pull out. Sure enough, pulls out pretty easy. So we're going to be able to get that apart. I want to do it in front of you one-handed. Uh, that should be easy to take apart. And then uh, down here at the car, this car can pull only a thousand pounds and I, uh, it didn't have the safety hooks that I expected to be on there like is typically on a, next to a larger receiver hitch. So what I actually was doing was I was just hooking this in the hollow, in the hollow tube. Uh, let's see if we can see that. So, I don't know if you can see it there, but basically, you know, just hooking it in the tube, like, like that, and uh, that worked. So, it seems to me that that would be the strongest. Well, that was cool. I enjoyed uh, learning about how to do that, and I uh, got it out without, I think, without breaking anything on the lift door of the car. So. I'm going to get back to what I've been multitasking with and smoking this Chuck Roast for dinner. So I'll see you next time on Dr. Dave's version.